Hey guys, this is the Ruffman, and I'm bringing you the next part of my room. Let's play. So just kind of round off where we left off. I captured Valathri and Alalia. So the next stage on our conquest is Arimnium. Once to take out Arimnium, it will just be a matter of mopping up the remaining Etruscan League. Oh, no, that's not Etruscan League. If they have any units scattered around, like down here, these will remain, but um, the faction will still remain in existence as they are here. So... Um, I think... What am I researching? Agricultural stuff. Okie dokie. Um... I have a lot of good food bonus, so... Upgrade to Roman... Colonia. In my main settlement, and... If I upgrade to a Roman village... Oh, this is an olive oil place. Ah, uh, okay. You know what I was talking about grain towns and such? Like, see where it, on, the, on the left it says Roman Village Wine. That means if I upgrade the main building, they will produce food as well. So, compared to Rome, which doesn't really... It's just a capital and doesn't really do anything. That has a negative food if I upgrade the capital building. If I upgrade either Valathri, which is a wine town, it will it produce wine. Which I think is an exportable, exportable commodity, because it doesn't technically count as food. Um, and Roman Village produces olive oil and food as well. So that's pretty neat. Um, is Rimnium such a town? I don't know. What about these guys? What do these do? A market town doesn't really mean it does, doesn't really do anything, as far as I know. There's no real... thing. They don't... I can't really think of a way to describe it. They don't do anything special compared to food ones, so let's just end turn. But yeah, the core of this campaign is going to be an agricultural, a mainly agricultural economy because I'm getting the bonuses from agricultural wealth from my faction as well as from technological developments. Um, I'm going to be pretty interested to see how it goes. I mean, I will build some industrial buildings like you can get brick ovens and things like that and that's pretty neat. But um, the main aim will be agriculture. Agriculture and tax. I presume agriculture won't ultimately produce as wealthy economy as doing it other ways would but that's not a problem I don't know, I'm quite interested to do it agriculturally, agriculturally hidden agent is always exposed iron tools invasion force capture Arimnium for 500 who's invasion force lands, enemy alarmy has landed within your territory have they? Some news to me. Oh, this army moving up to Arimnium. And I will. This is how you recruit units in Rome. You go down here and do raise forces and you create a recruit a general unit. And then you build units from him. Which kind of sucks. You have to recruit a general to recruit units, but. Uh, I don't know. And these all cost money. I lose support from Santas by recruiting these guys because they're both from my house. That's something I don't really get. In Rome 1, you have the Senate. It's a separate faction. You can kind of gauge how your, how much influence you have. And it's kind of a fun side mission to keep up them, keep them happy with you. But I don't really see the point in this so much. I don't know. It could be me being an idiot. It probably is me being me being an idiot, but I don't know. But all I know is this one doesn't give me any negatives. So I'm going to recruit him with a Triaria unit. And let's give him strong Hastati core. And then recruit some Velites for support. And then, ooh. Nope, not mercenaries. Mercenaries awful. I think I have to go here, there we go. As soon as possible, I'm going to want to... No, not that one. As soon as possible, I'm going to want to recruit a champion. Because champions are badass. But I need manipular organisation. So how do I get... Oh, there you go. Recruit that. Build that and I'll get a champion. Because a champion can... I think you use champions to assassinate other characters. And you can have them attack garrisons. And they'll charge around outside the walls, daring someone to single combat. And they will damage garrisons 
Um, but the, one of the best ways I, th I reckon to use them is you put them inside an army and train your units to get more experience. And the ex experience units gives you better stats. So I don't see why you wouldn't do it, personally, but... I don't know, it's just me. Ooh, I have to build something here. Put a farm. Build a villa. Because I don't think... Does this... Is Alalia a special town? Fish! So if I increase the main settlement, I get more food, because it's a fishing town. Oh, that's quite cool. Okay, well, let's end turn. Hopefully, I can knock out Arimnium and destroy the Etruscan League. Because eventually what I'm going to have to do is move the army from Al Alalia, because Carthage will declare war on me at some point. They just will. I don't know why they do that. They're kind of sailing along, but they don't actually... They never seem to actually invade me, but... I don't know. Hopefully if I can wipe the Etruscan League off of the map, then the foundations of me expanding up into the more barbarian regions, as well as moving south towards Syracuse and Carthage, they will start setting the foundations of a successful empire. The RJ. friend. We will speak together of whatever you wish, but bring words that can warm out. No. Nope. Good. They're in a bad mood with me, but I don't know. This unit's mustering, so can't do anything. This we army will move on Arimnium. There's a lot of them. General's unit, spears, lots of tiny spears, mob and slingers. Lots of skirmishes, there's reinforcements and lots of skirmishes here. Hmm. I think I'm going to pull back from that, actually. Let's fall back and muster a couple more guys. Oh, and they, it adds on because there are more already mustering troops for this stack. So it'll be a couple of turns yet before I knock out the uh, Matreska League, but that's not a problem. Because right now, this is the one that's a, that would be a real pain to hold. But I'd like to move on Arimnium as soon as possible. Spears of Minerva. General's unit, kind of like Triarii then, pretty much. Technology's going well. Diplomacy, everyone around me already hates me quite a bit, apart from Sparta. Let's Enter see if Sparta friend, will do anything. And speak. We surely have much to discuss and perhaps much to agree. Hmm. No. Last night. The guards will have me listen to you, but do not pass the day in words without me. I cannot say yes and be Meh, fine. Screw you guys. And turn. Start a drink. Eventually, I'm a, I got a non-aggression pact with um, Carthage. So, need to bear that in mind. Because eventually they will declare war on me. It would be quite nice to take Apollonia. Because I'm doing the House of Juni, and I think if you're going to draw parallels from Rome 1 to Rome 2, then Junia would be the Brutii. And would have expanded to Ap Apollonia. And then across to, in Rome 1, what would have been Thermon and Larissa and Athens and Sparta. So, kind of interesting. But, they're kind of interesting that in Rome 1 I'd be so adamant in taking out Apoll Ap Apollonia. Hidden Asian Exposed. I'd be so adamant to go that way, but this time I'm not really so inclined. But this stack is being formed... This army is too powerful to not be doing something. Is there any way I can go... No, I can't just transfer units like that. Which is kind of a bore. I think I'm going to eliminate that recruitment for him. Oh no, I recruited the wrong people. This army is a staple just to go down there and hold this region. We'll be fine. Whereas these guys, I'd like to have that. Technology, supply reforms. Keep going with my economical upgrades. And what I'd like to have is a champion. There really seems to be much difference apart from this guy seems more heroic. He looks it. Recruit. So my champion will form 
on this army. Although I can't seem to do it now, but next turn. You send them to train, they will make them more more veterans. So not only will you start increasing experience of your units through wars, you will also increase them through your um, champion training them up. And then as the train as the champion levels up, your units will gain more experience quickly as well. Which is pretty neat. Then there's some Etruscan League ships pottering around. And it's not a problem. Generally, I, they'd always seem to have attacked Alalia. After I'd catch that, they'd always seem to go and back and keep trying to attack that. But seems a bit odd. But I don't know. I'm going to start. There you go. Military training. Then this army is going to head northwards and attack Arimnium. Because they have a general unit, but it should be fine. Uh, keep more a good food income surplus. Upgrade this to Manipular Barracks to get the recruitment of Triarii. Upgrade this Roman village in Neapolis. this army to move south and go on to a defensive stance and turn because like I said eventually Carthage, Carthage will break their non-aggression pact with you and I don't like how many fleets they have that's not cool so I need to start recruiting my own grand fleet to start combating them but I'm not in economically in the ideal position see they keep ooh Sparta first Spartan thing we can see, and I won't be playing with them because obviously, naturally, they've released as a day one DLC for some reason. So I can't be playing them until I buy the DLC. Unfortunately, but that's not so bad. As soon as I go around and take Arimnium, I'll have the entire province, and then I can move north. I deal with two armies. So the friends of the Nereids. Commander Let's get Steve. this spy. I kind of ooh. Let's try poison their wells. It was, it was not successful. How can I be of assistance? Hmm. Ready for attack. Power before Rome. Lots of Italian cavalry. Lots of spearmen, but you can see spearmen aren't really equal to Astarte, even when outnumbered. So, as long as I can keep my general unit with Chiari close to deal with the cavalry, I should be okay. So, I will see you guys on the battle map. Okie dokie, here is the battle map. Keep my Astarte on one big line, because there's no need in moving them up. Just yet. Keep my Vaites behind them. Skirmish mode off and Triarii as they are. So here's the town center. Ideally, I'd like to keep my army grouped up as we move down to about here. Split my army one side and go this way. The other army attack through the market. That would be ideal. Here's their levy skirmisher units. So let's get going. Not running. You will walk. We'll walk. And these guys will go here. You guys will walk. Walk as well. Walk as well. Triari unit, just move up. And then let's speed up time a bit. So look at the things you can do. Group controls. Formation, defend, attack. <laughs> I'll keep it on for now so that when I deselect... Actually what I want to do is get my... Let's 
get my skirmishers over here General. to deploy in skirmish mode and start skirmishing with their troops. Uh -huh, here is some of their troops. Levy slingers, levy slingers, mob. Our hidden units have been discovered. Run my my skirmish units over. Our general is under attack. Victory for Rome! Fire on the enemy! There we go. Just hopefully do a lot of damage to them as they retreat. We've done a lot of damage to them. Our hidden units have been discovered. Come on, wavering. Halt. Right, so. Keep my block of skirmishers with my main block of infantry. So I'm not sure where their cavalry unit will strike. So I'm splitting my troops, but I don't want to split them too much. This guy, I mean, this sector is going to move down in this direction. Head this way, move up. Unit of Italian spearmen. My guys can chew them up. Just keep chopping apart their units. So here's their mob, slingers, slingers, slingers. Presumably they're all centered around the town center. So this battle group will then move along. Slingers, slingers. Slingers aren't really that great union, I don't think. There you go, they're getting ready to fire. Let's get these guys running. My troops chopping out their spearmen. So they can get my units formed up. Here's their cavalry. No one's got my Triarii unit taking part in the attack, then it won't be a problem. At least all of their skirmishers have been moving out have moved over here. There you go, my Skirmishers should be able to make as long as they start firing. There you go. They've all nicely bunched up and take lot, do lots of damage to them. Tiny spearmen are wavering. They're going to be supported by a unit by a mob unit, which is. Ideal for me, but this completely open. Mostly. Apart from this unit of mob unit. Wavering. These units here have barely lost any men. Five men lost one man. Wavering. These guys are being attacked. There you go. Now I was kicking up a fuss. Glory. 
Right. Well, four units of Astarte to move up. This unit of Astarte to not to bother and just run. Velite units to move up alongside Triaria. Have this one unit of Astarte move down. So I can attack the town center from two directions. Run. Then this unit of Astarte will regroup back to the main body to support the general. Two of these? These are mob. I don't really need to bother about the mob. No, nope, these guys need to head this way. Attack cavalry, attack cavalry. There we go. Get my Triaria guy, Triaria units engaged to counter their cavalry. Now, as soon as these guys can be beat. Move in from the flank. Disengage. Unit cohesion. Because this won't be long. Fighting going on there. Big amount of wavering stuff will be happening here. Spearmen are going down. Who's here? Skirmishers. Some more Italian cav. Well, these skirmishers are being a bit of a hassle over here. Don't worry, after these guys are done, control and get rid of that unit. There you go, so now it's just these guys. All after the Italian spearmen. General. Keep an eye on my triari. Right? What are these guys doing? Wavering. Are these guys in a route anytime soon? Separate that unit. There you go. How are these guys doing? Fresh. Good. These guys can run the last few bits. Oh, no, not you guys. You guys run here. There you go, fighting to get into cavalry combat with my Triari moving up. Drawing off skirmish of fire. No, not these guys. Have all of these guys run out of... Yeah, they have. My Vertes can run away. These guys are going to be deployed in an absolute emergency. They're not going to be... They're not going to be doing a whole lot of fighting. Jupiter gives us strength. Astarte, Triari. Get my Astarte working specifically on their cavalry. Make those guys route. Clear these guys out. Attack these guys in the rear. How's the cavalry unit going? No. It's Italian Noble Infantry. I might deploy them. Well, there we go. These guys might survive the fight on their own, despite taking nasty casualties.
retreating my Velites, Velites. Well, look at these guys. Oh, they're gone. It's my general unit. Second win, what do you do? War cry. Come on, these guys. Come on, get your second win, has started here. These guys can run around and hit them from the flank because they're doing nothing over here. Attack them! Not entirely from the flank, but more from the flank than it was before. These guys broken through. Lots of casualties. And then they can swing around back here. How tired are these guys? Tired. Some are tired, some are very tired. Oop, that is the end of the battle. Right, well. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Okie dokie, as you can see I lost a lot of guys, a disproportionate amount of guys. Um, what I'm gonna do... Oh, I could subjugate, what does that do? No, I'm not gonna subjugate them, I want the uh, Etruscan League to be gone. Increase in rank. Mission successful, so I have money in the treasury. Lots of replenishment needs to be done, because <laughs> I lost a lot of guys. That wasn't a very good battle really. Navigator... Tactician. Hmm. Let's do that. Increased map range is always a good thing. But now we own the entire province. So, what I'm going to want to do is implement a provincial edict, which is going to be bread and games, plus for food and plus for public order, which is good. Public order means more growth. Um. Arimnium has a manipulative barracks, in which case... Cancel construction of a manipulative barracks here, and I'll turn this into an auxiliary camp. That's what I'm going to do. I don't know, or do I? How f what happens down here? What goes down here? Auxiliary barracks... Cavalry units and slingers. Oh, there we are. Skirmisher cavalry, light horse, Celtic slingers, skirmisher cavalry. Long but wait. Oh, Caesar and Gaul. Have all the gates. Oh, just give me archers and cavalry and let's do it, it'd be interesting, different. There we go. Okay. <coughs> so, what I'm going to want to do is to upgrade Arimnium. Because I think I've got a lot of a good food surplus, so I can upgrade my villages, not this village. I can do a lot of upgrading. <coughs> Get these guys for training. Get this army back onto the coast, onto Velathri. So let's get these guys into sea. Back on the coast. They're a bit negative now, but they'll they'll come around. Roman Hamlet. Unless I raise a really small 
No, nope, not raise forces. I want this guy. Recruit units. Just recruit Rarari to get some garrison. For the region, this guy sit down. I need to put him on defensive stance. That's what I need. Car Carthage is taking Syracuse. Hmm. I have two ways I can take this. I can either head to the north and attack those city, those the um, barbarian regions to the north, or I could head to the North African area and Sicily and places like that and take out the Carthage faction, which would be quite interesting. Oh. In which case, I only need one garrison army up here, because if I lose Velathra, I can just retake it with this army and vice versa. As I keep upgrading, I'll get a bigger and bigger garrison force. Increasing rank of my... Um, champion. That's the one I was thinking of. So let's give him... What's he got? Military Tribunal. Ooh. Cool. Let's give him... Partisan, just to evade enemy agents, because I don't want them to be able to target him. Um, doo -doo -doo. There you go. Public order's going down. They're getting more. They're getting more chilled. Let's put these guys ashore. Research technology. Let's start cranking along. This way, because I have a lot of armies, and I can start reducing upkeep costs. I'll say a lot of armies, relative a lot of a lot, a relative amount of armies. But right now, these guys, Epirus, diplomacy. Do you guys still hate me? A flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom Yay. is no Ah. Oh. Your kind aggression pact. But we have no need to share glory, ale, or good pork. Trade with agreement. You. Why does them? You're good. Well, no. Our hands are oh well, done. I'll try again. I am here to Add listen. Offer if you speak honestly. Demand. Truth. We see some gain. Who's that? Deorsi. Don't mighty Sparta. I am here to listen. If you speak honestly. We see some gain hmm. for. Syracuse hates me, but we still have a. We're trading. Unfriendly because of cultural aversion and treaties with Carthage. Carthage hates me a lot. Minus 74. Treaties with everyone. They don't like I'm a fact I'm at war with anyone. Cultural aversion. <laughs> they don't like the fact I'm at war with the Etruscan League. So it effectively makes war with them inevitable because you're going to have to declare war on the Etruscan League. But at the same time, you're going to want to make sure. Hmm. Oh, God. Syracuse. Enter, friend, and speak. We will not agree. Hmm. As long as they're scrapping, that's quite good for me. So then I can move. Like, if I could take this region and have two provinces to my name, that would be very helpful. Because there's a lot of. Hmm. That'd be ideal. But looking at the time, I think I'm going to end the part there. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.